What is going on guys, it's MKC Technology here, also known as MKC Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Samsung Whistle Notification MP3 to play on your uh, Samsung device whenever you get a notification. Now, this method works on all uh, Android devices, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. Now... In order to do in order to do this, what you want to do is open up your internet service. From here, go to your search bar. Type in Samsung Whistle. It's already my search history, so I'm gonna click on that. From there, I'm gonna scroll down until you see this YouTube video. Click on that. Your prompt will then come up, and then what you want to do is click cancel. YouTube will then load in your internet service. From there, what you want to do is go to your uh, search bar, uh, touch and hold on the search on the link right there, copy it, click the X. Then from here, what you want to do is type in YouTube to MP3. It's already in my search history, so I'm going to click on that. I'm then going to scroll down until I see this website, convert to mp3.net, click on that. Now this website also converts MP4s to MP4s. All you gotta do is click on this right here, and then all you have to do is click on this right here, and then click on MP4, and then you then have the choice to convert it to a max of 720p or 1080p full HD. But we're not gonna go into that. We're, we're going to convert this video into an MP4. So from here, what you wanna do is uh, paste the link into the search bar right here. Then click on convert. Once it's done downloading, what you're gonna do, you will be brought up to brought up to this page. You are then gonna scroll down, click on continue. You are then gonna download this. Uh, you're gonna, then gonna download this MP3. I've already already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. So from here, what you want to do is go back to your home, go into your file manager, and the depending on what phone you have or Android device you have, because like I said, this method works for all Android devices. So depending on what phone you have, you, you might download into your external SD card. So if it downloads onto your external SD card, just follow the same steps I'm doing, but keep the file, keep the MP3 in the external uh, SD card. If it's on your internal SD card, just follow the same steps I'm doing. It works for it, it works both ways. So what I'm going to do now is open up my files or my file manager. Go into my device storage, which is my internal storage. Go into my downloads folder. I'll then be brought up to the Samsung Whistle MP3. I'm then going to touch and hold it. I'm then going to click on more. I'm then going to click on rename. I'm then going to backspace this. and put that and then rename it so that way the phone will detect it now from here what you're gonna do is if your phone if the external storage or internal storage does not have a folder called notification what you're gonna do is create a folder called notifications just like this and then from here you're gonna go back into your downloads folder you're gonna touch and hold the Samsung Whistle MP3 that you just downloaded. Click on more, then click on move, then click on the uh, storage space that you want it to download on, I mean, to put on. So for me, it has to stay on my internal storage. It cannot be moved to my external or else it will not be detected. If it's on your external storage, it has to be um, kept on your external storage. So from here, what, you, what you're gonna do for me, since this is on my internal storage and I have to keep it on my internal storage, I'm gonna click on device storage. From here, I'm gonna scroll down to notifications. Then I'm gonna click move here. From here, I'm gonna click the home button. I'm then gonna go to my settings. I'm then gonna go to sounds and notifications. I'm then going to go to ringtones and sounds. 
I'm then going to be brought up to this. Now, the, uh, Skyline was my Skyline was my previous uh, previous notification sound. Whistle is now there. So whenever I get a notification, Whistle will play. And yeah, that's how you get the Samsung Whistle notification to play on your phone if you do not already have it um, saved on, put on your phone when you get the get a new a Samsung device or Android device, uh, phone or tablet. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It's MKC Technology, also known as MKC Gaming. I'm out. Peace.